The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Go and shout this in Jerusalem's ears. Yahweh says this, I remember your faithful love, the affection of your bridal days, when you followed me through the desert, through a land unsown. Israel was sacred to Yahweh. The first fruits of his harvest, all who ate this incurred guilt. Disaster befell them, Yahweh declares. I brought you to a country of plenty to enjoy its produce and good things. But when you entered, you defiled my country and made my heritage loathsome. The priest never asked, where is Yahweh? Those skilled in the law did not know me. The shepherds too rebelled against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal and followed the useless ones. You heavens stand aghast at this, horrified, utterly appalled, Yahweh declares. For my people have committed two crimes. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug water tanks for themselves. Cracked water tanks that hold no water. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 36. Your saving justice is like towering mountains. Your judgments like the mighty deep. Yahweh, you support both man and beast. How precious, God, is your faithful love. So the children of Adam take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the bounty of your house. You let them drink from your delicious streams. In you is the source of life. By your light we see the light. Maintain your faithful love to those who acknowledge you and your saving justice to the honest of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant overtake me, or wicked hands drive me away. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then the disciples went up to Jesus and asked, Why do you talk to them in parables? In answer he said, Because to you is granted to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not granted. Anyone who has will be given more and will have more than enough. But anyone who has not will be deprived even of what he has. The reason I talk to them in parables is that they look without seeing and listen without hearing or understanding. So in their case, what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah is being fulfilled. Listen and listen, but never understand. Look and look, but never perceive. This people's heart has grown coarse, their ears dulled. They've shut their eyes tight to avoid using their eyes to see, their ears to hear, their heart to understand, changing their ways and being healed by me. But blessed are your eyes because they see, your ears because they hear. In truth, I tell you, Many prophets and upright people longed to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord.